car tab statue is not constitutional. He says the settlement he sent Sound Transit today is a win both for his clients and the future of regional transportation. Attorney Joel Arch says Sound Transit is using an inflated way to calculate car tabs. He says it's forcing car owners to pay more than they should and more than they expected when they voted to approve the tab tax. I think there's uh, a solution uh, for us to get together and, and solve this uh, quickly and, and, and frankly favorably to them. I spoke to Ard over the phone. He says this settlement would refund back to you about 25% of car tabs collected since March of 2017. Ard says that's around $125 million. He says the annual cost for tabs would also go down. Our position has never been that we're anti-transit or anti-sound transit or anti-any of this. We would like to see the statute uh, just be constitutional. And that's the settlement we've got on offer. We reached out to Sound Transit for comment. Officials with Sound Transit tell us they have received our settlement. They say Sound Transit is confident in its legal position. Art tells me he presented a similar settlement to Sound Transit in the past, but says Sound Transit declined it. Now, Art tells me he is presenting the option again as a way to give Sound Transit the chance to meet deadlines for construction of light rail. There is no timeline on if and when Sound Transit will have a decision on the settlement or when the court will come to a decision on this case. All right, AJ, thank you. Turning to weather.